Hey everyone, my name is Suman and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. In this video, we're going to learn how to animate flat style fire flames like this in After Effects. First, let's check out the layer separation process. In Illustrator, I have separated all the layers of the fire flames in an individual layers for the light shade, for the yellow shade and also for the orange shade. Then after that, I have also separated the glow layers in a separate layer so that when I import this in After Effects, I have a separate layer in After Effects timeline to animate individual layers of it. Okay, now let's jump into After Effects and start with the animation process. So now we're in After Effects and we're going to start with the flames animation. Let's select one flame layer and let's solo the layer. Let's add a puppet pin at the bottom of the layer and at the top of the layer. Let's select this puppet pin. Go to the Twig Bezier plugin and we are going to convert this pin into the bone layer so that we have a separate layer for this puppet pin. Let's rename it, let's say 1 and we are going to open the position, press P and then we are going to separate the dimension. And now we have to animate the Y axis to get this animation. So we are not going to add any keyframes, we are only going to add a wiggle expression so that the Y position is animated over time in a random speed. So let's add an expression called wiggle and then under the brackets it would be 20 comma 25 and let's put the semicolon. So here 20 is the frequency and 25 is the amplitude which means it is going to animate 20 times in a second and the Y position property is going to vary by 25 pixels. Okay, let's check out the animation. Alright, so like this, you have to repeat the process for the other flame layers. Of course, you can change the value of the frequency and the amplitude for the different layers of the flames and this is how it looks. And now we're going to add some glow effect. So for the glow effect, we're going to first add a drop shadow. Let's select this composition and Go to the effects and presets panel and type in drop shadow and let's apply this effect. Let's pick this color for the shadow and let's lighten up the color a bit. Let's give the opacity around 6% and the direction should be 0, distance should be 0 and let's increase the softness to around 650. All right. Now if we increase the opacity, you can see what it is exactly doing, but we are not going to light it up so much. 6% is pretty good or max we can give 10%. Now after that, we are going to apply the glow effect on top of it. Let's apply this effect. Now you can see some glow effect over here. Let's decrease the threshold or let's keep it 60, I think 60 looks good here. Then we are going to increase the radius to around 160. Alright, this looks pretty good. Now we are also going to duplicate this glow effect one more time. Let's select this effect and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it one more time. And this time we are going to increase the radius a little bit. Alright, this one looks good. I think we can decrease the opacity a bit. Let's check. Let's give 6%. Yeah, this one looks good. And on the first glow, we are going to decrease the intensity to 0.4. And now after that, we are going to add some jittery effect on the glow as well. So for that, we have to apply an expression on this radius, on the glow radius. So select the first glow effect and press and hold the Alt key and click on the stopwatch of the glow radius. And here we are going to apply a wiggle expression. And we are going to give 15 as the frequency and the amplitude of 60. Let's check it now. Alright, this one looks good. After that, we are also going to apply another effect. Let's close all these three tabs and here we are going to apply CC Radial Fast Blur. Now what exactly is it does is if you select this center and move it around, you can see this kind of raise leakage from the edges of the flame and this kind of the effect we are 
we are looking for in this in this flame animation so we are going to keep it below the flame layer if we keep it above it is going to make the radial blur down somewhat like this the direction is downwards but we want the direction to be upward so it should look something like this now let's press and hold the alt key and click on it to open the expressions panel again we are going to apply and wiggle expression and this time we are going to give 15 as the frequency and the amplitude of 120 let's check it out now we are going to animate this glow shape layers so for this layers we are going to only animate the scale property of the keyframe let's move the anchor point of these layers around here let's select the glow layer 1 and open the scale property add a keyframe let's jump on to next 5 frame and let's increase the scale to around 120 and the first frame we are going to decrease the scale by 95 and then again we are going to jump on to next 5 frame and we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframe which completes the whole loop and now we are going to add a loop expression and then we are going to copy these keyframes and paste it in these layers. Now after that, we are going to change the blending mode to overlay. Let's check it now. Okay, I think that we can decrease the amount of scale up down for this layer. So let's give it around 110 and let's check it out now. I think this one looks good. Now we're going to learn how to animate particles in After Effects. So first we're going to add a solid layer. You can pick any color you want and let's name it particles. And now we're going to apply an effect called CC particle world. Let's apply this effect and we're going to reposition the origin point of this particle. So for that. We have to come under the producer and we have to reposition it. Alright, after that, we're going to change some of the settings from here. First, we're going to go here in the particles. Let's change this one to lens convex. Under the physics, we're going to change the animation to fire and then we're going to decrease the birth rate let's keep it 0.5 and let's decrease the longevity or increase the longevity a bit around 1.5 let's see let's increase the resistance under the physics so let's increase it to 3.6 and also let's decrease the gravity to 0.3 and then we're going to change the birth size to 0.1 and we're also going to decrease the death size to 0.005 let's check it now yeah this one is looking even better and i think we can place it below the yellow flame and let's add a fill color on it let's pick this color for the fill and of course you can duplicate this multiple times and vary the settings of the particle world to get a result like this. And finally we are going to add some fire spark. So for that we have to add a stroke with the pen tool. Let's add a stroke with a little curvature. After that we are going to change the color of the stroke to this orange color. Let's place it below all the layers. and. Now we are going to add a modifier on this layer which is trim path and then under the shape under stroke we are going to change the butt cap to rounded cap. Now we are going to animate the start and the offset value under trim path. So let's decrease the end. Let's solo this layer for now and let's give it zero. Let's add a keyframe on the end and the offset. Let's jump on to next 15 frame. Let's 
jump on to around 22 and we are going to move it over here now let's jump on to next 15 frame and we are going to add a keyframe on the start from here here we are going to give the exact same value as end so which is 22 and let's select the offset keyframe and place it over here and also let's add a keyframe over here let's erase the keyframe and select the offset we are going to give ease at the end so we are going to pull the busy handles and we are going to decrease the ease at the start or rather start very fast same we are going to do with the end we are going to make the initial curve stiff and let's make this one a little similar to a linear keyframe and then for this start we are going to match this keyframe with the keyframe that's ending at the end and then we're going to pull the base handles at the very end to increase the hang time so let's add a keyframe over here so here we have some steel frames and now we can add the loop expression and after that you can duplicate these layers multiple times vary the shape path and you can get multiple variation of this fire spark so with this our fire animation is complete i hope you learned something new out of this tutorial which you can use it in your future projects if you want to learn how to animate a realistic fire flame then i have a separate tutorial on it i will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial so that is it for this video i hope you liked it if you like the video make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down below i'll be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates until then goodbye